Hey, what's up? Uh, I just saw your video and I saw that you left me an inbox. Uh, this is a video response for um, a YouTuber. And I don't buy those little boxes or those nets or anything like that. I think they're stupid. Um, if you want to buy them and they work for you, then go ahead. Um, you have your one gallon. I saw that you had a goldfish or something in there. It's going to be too cold for them to go ahead and do it. Um, I saw someone commented that on your thing. Um, guppies are very resilient. Um, I personally wouldn't put them in one of those little boxes though because, I mean, how are they going to feel comfortable when everything's swimming around them and they can't get away? When my females uh, pop, they all get in a corner, you know, like underneath the sponge or in between the java moss somewhere and they go ahead and release. I don't have a heater on my tank, but my tank stays about 70 degrees. So... I mean, the only thing I can say to you is if you want to keep moving around, it's just going to stress her out more. So, I mean, either you need to decide to leave her one place and leave her there or move her and keep her there till she drops her babies. But in reality, I just go ahead and leave her in there. Um, and the babies, um, if you're trying to breed them to make a bunch of numbers, obviously leave her in the one gallon until she pops. If not, do what I do and you know what? The best will survive. You know, they know how to hide. They know how to get in there and out of there, you know, out of the java moss. I breed them, you know, for fun. I don't breed them, like, you know, to sell them and to make lots of money off of them like some people do. But what works for me is if I just go ahead and let them do their thing and it's natural. You know, if they don't make it, they don't make it. If they do, they do. Um, I saw on your little light, you had those little lights sticking up on top of your thing. Um, if you have some aluminum foil... I'm going to try to explain this. If you have some aluminum foil, you can go ahead and cup it like this so the light's directed directly to the bottom of the tank. That way it's not all bright. I mean, it's probably not that bright anyways, but it just probably look better. So the light's directed to the bottom. So, I mean, if you don't care, it's obviously not a big deal, but it's a cheap thing to do is just grab some aluminum foil and just cup it down. You know, like get a plastic, you can cut a plastic bottle, put a hole in it or whatever so that it slides on there, and then put cover it with aluminum foil and tape it in there. Uh, like a cover uh, it works pretty good from experience I know this um, other than that I mean just feed them and you know it's nature man you gotta let them do their thing if you're gonna move her back to the one guy and leave her in there until she's done and then once you know she's done and she's dropped about 10 20 30 however many I don't know how old she is but once she's dropped some you know go ahead and move her back to the 10 gallon um, but personally if you don't care and you just want the babies and you know survival of the fittest and you want the best of the best you know just leave them in there and eventually they'll pop and there'll be tons of babies in there so and I mean you could spread them out or you can you know you don't have to bunch them up that close you want to be able to make it so that they can kind of swim around and stuff like this is just java moss just bunched up randomly they know how to swim in and out of it I don't know if you see them in there you know they know how to swim in and out of it so it's just whatever works so like I said I know some people are real anal about the temperature and all that stuff. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You know, obviously you don't want it freezing, but they can live in 70 degree temperature. Obviously the hotter, the hotter it is, the more, the faster they'll grow, the more they'll reproduce. Um, I don't have a heater in there. It's all natural. It's all whatever. So I do this and this is what works for me. Hope you enjoyed my video response. Uh, rate and comment. Peace.